Hey guys, Steve here from PC Budget Solutions. It is 11.28 at night. I've been working on trying to figure out some things on this Threadripper build. Here's what we're running into. This is my um, AMD Ryzen 5 6600X. It's running about 4.1 gigahertz. Memory's at 3000 megahertz. Uh, RX 580. This is what's happening with 4K raw footage. Now this is a 16 second clip that's two and a half gigs. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit play. And you can see it hasn't moved, hasn't moved, it's doing nothing. Oh, moved a little bit, froze. It's kind of, and then it's getting going, right? So, the Threadripper system's actually probably doing the same, if not worse, because it's not quite as fast in, excuse me, in regards to CPU speed or memory. But this is my laptop. This is an i7 6500U, two core, four threads, okay? Eight gigs of RAM, so it's half the RAM as my system. It has a third the amount of cores and threads as my system. When it comes to the Threadripper build, uh, Threadripper build is 16 threads, so it's eight times the threads and eight times the amount of RAM. Now, we're going to go ahead and start this video. Same exact clip. Now, what you'll notice here, I actually click go. There we go. So it's going to start, and then it will start to go quite better than what we had experienced before. Why? Now it's lagging because it just doesn't have any resources to be doing this kind of work. The answer, and this really stinks and I don't really know what to advise uh, my customer, is this is the link of all of the CPUs that have QuickSync. QuickSync with using this specific file format. Now this file format is called, and I'll type in here, it's called Cinema DNG. Okay, that's the name of it. Okay, so th that's, that is the file format. It's really weird because when you open it up, it's actually a bunch of high-res stills put into uh, essentially a, um, a video, right? Which is why this video, when you look at the file size, is 2.4 gigs. So I have an answer. It sucks. We spent a lot of money on this system. Uh, well, he did. And uh, it turns out we're going to have to go a different route, it, it seems like. Uh, I have to do more testing. I got to get my hands on a high end i7 to see if it performs any better or not. So this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions. I have one more video coming up soon about replacing uh, his pump because the pump died with uh, Noctua. That should be coming soon. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you later on. Yes, there's a finger point down the road.